My name is uh, Catherine Getau. I'm the ICT Secretary from the Ministry of Information, Communications and Technology, or the Ministry of ICT for short. Uh, I provide uh, strategic uh, direction for the government and I give advice on a number of uh, ICT issues, both in the public and private sector. And I also take part in some international processes, perhaps most recently the United Nations Governmental Group of Experts on Security in the Context of ICTs. Uh, so uh, it's a varied and interesting job uh, and I'm happy to be here at East Africa Com, uh, getting to know how the telecommunications sector uh, is doing and what it plans to do in this region. The world is moving fast. There are changes in uh, technology that are disrupting traditional uh, industry. Um, Lots and lots of uh, educated young people have access to information on the internet and therefore they're reading about uh, all kinds of things and they know about a uh, very broad range of things. And therefore you find that nearly everyone has an opinion on nearly every subject. And uh, therefore it's uh, challenging for governments now to make policy in this space. Uh, because more than any other time in history, perhaps, um, they're likely to be challenged. Uh, people are likely to have an opinion, to be concerned about how that particular policy is uh, going to impact them for good or for ill. Um, therefore, you have to have the confidence as government that the policy you're making is right. Um, even sometimes in the face of uh, negative public opinion about that particular policy. Of course, a key, uh, smart policy is uh, knowledge-based, and I'm not just talking about the academic knowledge of the field of interest, in this case telecommunications, but also understanding the policy environment, uh, both uh, globally and locally, uh, what is happening, uh, or what's happening in the sector, uh, how people, human beings, are using the technology, what their concerns are, what the positive and negative impacts. So uh, apart from the big data, there's also the small data, just the insight uh, of really understanding the technology and where it's going. Um, there are also other issues, you know, such as uh, the cost and, you know, how you're going to sustain uh, that policy, uh, the ecosystem, how you're going to learn, how you're going to bring your stakeholders in so that they can uh, give uh, more wisdom. Um, so I guess the, the critical, the key thing is, is knowledge and being willing to listen and to get lots of people to participate and give their opinions. Well, I think uh, there are many things that came together uh, at the same time and some of it was uh, a word I like very much, serendipity. Um, the Kenya government has obviously traditionally invested a lot in education and we've had a good education system for our youth. Uh, we had the free primary education uh, which brought a lot more young people uh, into school. Um, we had a tremendous growth in tertiary education uh, with uh, a five-fold increase in the number of public universities as well as exponential growth in the private universities. Uh, and therefore, uh, just at the same time as mobile technology was very rapidly penetrating our market, and the internet was also coming in and the ISPs was the same time that the first fruits of uh, this revolution in the education system uh, happened. So they came together at the same time. The second thing I'll say, uh, Kenyan young people are extremely well exposed globally. They love the news, uh, they love social media, 
uh, they love television, so they know what's going on in the rest of the world. And we also have a tradition of uh, tremendous self-confidence, uh, whether it's in running marathons or it's in technology. We don't feel that we're runners up. We feel we can be right there at the front. So this confidence, the education and the energy and uh, confidence of our youth just came together uh, with uh, the growth in technology and the uh, access to the internet and access to uh, cheaper uh, technology. It all just came together at the same time for good. I think cost is uh, still uh, a challenge, especially the cost of broadband. Um, we need to look at that and see uh, how it can become far more accessible for serious applications and using it for work. Um, capacity is still a challenge uh, for many people, getting the right skills at the right time. and. Um, uh, but perhaps the biggest challenge is moving um, the innovations uh, to become companies and growing companies, not just tiny little uh, startups. Uh, that is still uh, a challenge, uh, creating that ecosystem so that there's that growth uh, from a clever innovation. Uh, I think technology adoption is also a challenge. There are some areas such as mobile money where the whole world knows how well we've adopted it, but we don't have very many examples, although there's a growing number of examples of uh, technologies that are penetrating to scale. Well, certainly I think the private sector has a good space in, in Kenya. Uh, their industry associations are able to meet uh, at least four times a year with the president. He actually sits with them at a uh, presidential roundtable and listens to them and uh, responds. And he has his cabinet there and they're given uh, their work plans as per uh, the issues that are being raised by the private sector with our head of state. I don't think that's true in uh, in very many countries, so uh, that's tremendous support. Um, even our regional pro processes, the private sector is now integrally involved and therefore they're very well informed about uh, what the government is doing and uh, they are able to also have a voice uh, about their concerns and about uh, the opportunities that they're looking for in the region. Uh, we also see a growing number of uh, conferences and as you see I'm here today to support you and definitely the government is always there and willing to share information, willing to listen, willing to meet with the private sector. So I think for the private sector, Kenya and the whole of Africa is a really good place to be uh, at this time.